welcome to another video. This video is gonna be a week in the life of a NICU nurse who also has two other jobs. I thought this would be the perfect week in my life to vlog because I'm working all my jobs <laughs> this week. I'm working a shift at the hospital today and then I have practice for showboats and I also have appearances for Briz Girls as well as a game for showboats. So it's gonna be a busy week. I'm really excited to vlog this week and to just update you guys on all the things. And yeah, and just take you along. Um, it's currently 6.05 so I actually really need to hurry up and go finish getting ready. But I'm actually so proud of myself because as you can see, I ate breakfast this morning. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot remember the last time I've had breakfast before a nursing shift. I woke up early enough to allow myself to eat some breakfast. Got to just sit down for a minute, read my Bible while I eat that and sip my coffee. But the only thing is I'm like, now that I did that, I don't think I have time to make my lunch. And I actually have the stuff to make like a good sandwich and everything, but I don't want to be too rushed and too late. So I'll probably do what I do a lot of days and just like grab a few things that are like side items. I'll grab an apple, grab like a breakfast bar and some almonds or something. And then of course my water bottle and then I'll just get the rest of my food there. Can't forget the ice roller, especially on a morning like this when I am up very early. Okay, gotta get ready. day it's just 12 hours we got this we can do this and I will let you guys know how it goes like what went down in the shift how it went hopefully nothing crazy happens <laughs> So the first half of my shift went pretty well. Then luckily I was able to eat lunch like right at 12.30, which was so nice. I got something from the cafeteria and then I ate lunch in the break room. Then after lunch, all my babies had a bunch of one o'clock meds. So then I spent some time checking all those medications, calculating the doses and scanning those meds to give them to all my babies. Then I went ahead and did my two o'clocks, my two o'clock assessments, feedings, all of that good stuff. After that, I was able to sit down for a moment and drink my yerba mate tea and get caught up on my charting. This a lot of times can be if things are not crazy. This can be one of my favorite times of the shift just because I know it'll be time to go home soon and, and oftentimes this is a moment when you can just kind of sit down and get caught up on your charting and I like to save my afternoon caffeine for this time. So this is me charting before I had to give all my babies their eye drops for their eye exams. Hey guys, I am home from work and first thing I always do is I go to the bathroom and then I eat a snack and then I get in the shower and then I eat dinner and watch TV. Usually is how it goes. I'm about to eat one of these pickles. It's just dill pickles from Kroger. I added red peppers in here to make it a little spicy. It was so cold it like hurt my tooth. I'm not gonna lie, I almost forgot to film because if I'm ever filming like a nursing work day, it's so hard for me to be motivated to film after the shift and update you because I'm just so tired by the time I get home and I just wanna lounge. But yeah, I guess I'll give you a little update, a little recap on how the shift went. Um, yeah, so honestly can't complain. It was a pretty good shift. I had three babies. It was like an ICU slash IMC assignment. <laughs> there were like X25 weekers and now they're 
and one of them was on room air the other one was on just like one liter of the nasal cannula and then my other baby was like x 23 weeks and now 30 weeks something like that was on ram cannula cpap luckily there was nothing weird going on with any of them no fluids or lines or anything so it's fairly easy assignment the only thing was with my they were both so tachypnic so that was like whenever you're like constantly kind of looking at the monitor sometimes that can just be a little annoying sorry i need to stop touching my hair i just feel like i look like a man with it like that right now in this camera <laughs> it was like a steady busy i actually really didn't have that much downtime it was just the perfect amount of time to like get everything done that i needed to get done on time just like with parents and different little things oh that's what it was we did eye exams today and all three of my babies I had to get their eye exams so fun and you have to give eye drops of two different medications three times five minutes apart and i had to do that on all babies and then you also have to give another medication anyway it was just a nice steady busy honestly made it go by pretty fast and luckily i did not get an admission which is always nice i just like a steady busy not a fan of admissions i was third imc and we only got one baby i see you baby yeah let me know if this is interesting to y'all i don't know just like kind of talking about my shifts or whatever let me know what you find interesting what questions you have all that good stuff good morning it's 9 51 right now oh my gosh i really feel very swollen today yes it's like 9 50 and i need to get ready because i'm going to get coffee with a couple of girls that wanted to get together and ask about Grizz Girl stuff because they're interested in trying out. So that's where I'm headed. And I really need to spend the day getting caught up on stuff around my apartment. And I have a lot of content creation stuff I need to get done. A lot of editing. So that's what today is looking like. And then I have practice this evening. I just made like a regular K-cup coffee today because I'm out of my Nespresso pods. My Amazon package did come in, but I didn't want to go and get it because our lobby is being renovated right now. And so our like little package locker isn't working because of what they're doing down there. The packages are currently being taken to a different location where the leasing office is. For now, I did not want to have to get dressed to walk down there to get it. And it works out because I'm about to go get coffee. So this has a lower caffeine. Hey guys, it's now like one o'clock and finished with my little lunch with those girls. It went well. And honestly, just talking about auditions made me start to get really excited for auditions this year. I just forget like how fun the whole process is and I don't know, it's gonna be excited. And then I was right next to the place I like to get my nails done. So I decided to get my nails done. Also, my nails looked horrible. So it was definitely done. I love how they turned out. I feel like in the camera, they just look white, but they're like a really, really light green. And I've been looking for a color like this for a while. I don't know why. I've just been really wanting like a pretty light green. I finally feel complete again now that I have my nails done. Finally feel put together. I get dip by the way. I just get dip and I got the shape round. Now I'm gonna head towards back downtown to go home and work on some editing stuff, but I think I'm gonna stop at Reagan's house in Midtown on the way home and go on a walk with her and slay her dog. Hey guys, update, it is 5.55. I need to leave for practice in like five minutes. I'm trying to show y'all my outfit without showing you the messy parts of my room that I'm avoiding cleaning. <laughs> I'm wearing this orange sports bra from Amazon. And then I'm wearing these really cute Nike shorts that I got at the Nike outlet. On the way to practice. Y'all, this is my obsession. Lately, Yerba Mate tees. Shout out to Brittany for introducing me to them. Anyway, this is rehearsal for Showboats. And today we are studying the formations for a routine that we're performing at the game on the 28th. And then we're also gonna be working on the routine that we're doing at the games this weekend. So yeah, it should be a good practice. I always feel so good leaving because I'm usually nice and sweaty.
I think this is the first time I'm actually talking to you guys today. So yeah, it's the next day. And y'all saw like a little morning montage of what I've done today so far. I've really just been getting things done around my apartment, to getting caught up on laundry, cleaning, and just did some like brainstorming and planning out content. And now I have got to edit because I keep putting it off. Like every time I have stuff to edit, I don't know why, but I always have a hard time prioritizing it. Like when it comes down to it, I pick something else to do to get done first and then I have no time left in the day and I do it over and over. And that's happening again today. It's like 3.30 right now and I practice again at seven, so I don't have that much longer to edit. But I'm gonna go up on the roof and edit up there. So hopefully that can help me get in the zone. And it's a beautiful day and I'm gonna crank it out. I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling good. Like I said this morning, I took some time to write out plans and just write out content ideas and stuff. Also, just about all my content coming up, including YouTube videos, I'm excited because I'm having a great time making this video just about a week in my life working, including the nursing stuff. I feel like I'm ready to start making content that incorporates nursing stuff again and just kind of do nursing and lifestyle in general and dance and just all the things, including nursing. I just, I definitely did need a moment. I was, y'all know, if you watch my other videos, I was so burnt out out so burnt out and now that I've had plenty of off time from the hospital as well as making the content about it when I was feeling burnt out I think I'm ready again so let me know how y'all feel about that I'm just feeling hopeful for the future I've got a lot of ideas that I'm excited to work on and share with you guys hopefully in the near future so also the fact that this entire outfit is Amazon from the earrings to the shoes, <laughs> all Amazon. So I'm just gonna start linking my Amazon storefront in my YouTube description instead of specific items because at this point it's just like all the same items too. So I'll just link my storefront if you guys wanna find any of this stuff by the way. All right, let's go to the rooftop, get some fresh air and sunshine and edit. back together and be a normal person again but can I just encourage you from the very beginning just really invest in hobbies <laughs> and other things that you're passionate about especially if you're a creative like me if you're a creative at heart really pursue creative outlets it's so important for your mental health physical health for everything and honestly like that is going to be the one thing that keeps you sane 
in this career or really any career like especially if you are a creative person that creative part of your brain cannot be stopped and cannot be turned off so to completely neglect it and to not like exercise that muscle is gonna suck the life out of you so yeah it's honestly worth it to put energy and time or even money to invest in those things because in the long run that's going to be like way more restful and energizing for your spirit for your soul for your body than just like lounging and binging on your off days if that makes sense i have so many thoughts on this i just wanted to try to quickly summarize that though create opportunities for yourself to be able to eventually go part-time parent just don't be afraid to dream big and think about like your ideal life what that looks like and go for it work towards that have a vision for your life where you want to go and make sure you're working towards that so yeah encouragement by Layton <laughs> I hope that made you feel inspired in some way It's the next day. Today is Friday. It's about 10 o'clock right now. And I have an appearance for Grizz. So I'm trying to get ready really quick. I have to be there at 10.30. Curl my hair. Still need to brush through it and kind of fix a few curls. And then this lighting is so trash. You can't even tell what's going on with my makeup. My makeup is almost done. My eyelashes are drying. Then I need to add some mascara, add some lipstick, and some blush. We should be good to go. Did y'all witness that? I just got my hair in my coffee. That is so sad. No. Well, this hair is gonna be looking a little crazy. Safe to say it's time for a new lip liner. Well, it's Charlotte Tilbury, but I literally can't see the color and I genuinely can't remember what it was but clearly it was a good one. What this appearance is, like I said, it's at Barbecue Fest, which is like a big thing in Memphis in May that we have every year. People have tents and you just go and have a good time. So the Grizzlies have a tent. Wait, this tent is so cute. We just came upstairs to explore upstairs. What a cute view of Memphis right now, honestly. Oh, it's so close. That's nice. Cornhole. <laughs> hey guys, just wanted to give a little update. Oh, come in. <laughs> Tell me you're not filming. I was gonna ask you to pop a fat white head on my back because I can't read you. Oh, let me see. <laughs> let me see. I started pretty good, but it, I don't know if it's ready. I can try and put a pimple in the neck. If it does, I can put a pimple patch on there. And we walk around with that. <laughs> Obviously, the best. Just imagine there. you walk around with a pimple patch on your. Better than it being. Will it cover? Did that cover it? Did that cover it? Yeah, we can make that cover it. <laughs> the thing was, it's later in the afternoon now. It's about 3 o'clock, and we are done with our promo. So fun. That's so fun. No, it really was. That was actually my first time ever at Barbecue Fest. I can't wait to go So now we've changed and we're about to go back over there. Well, I like your shoes. Thank you. You should show them. Here. But I guess I'm going to go ahead and close out this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. You see the camera can hear my stomach growling? Okay. Well, see you in my next video. Bye.